Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nell Warrior. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. And we back for the vlog, y'all. All right, check it, check it out, y'all. I'm starting off vlog different, right? I'm not about to go fishing. Well, I'm fishing. Okay, look, man, I'm at HEB, all right? I'm at HEB because I'm here to pick up the ingredients I need to finish the cooking segment of the vlog you're about to watch. So you make sure you enjoy the catch vlog. We're making some fish nachos for the first time. Yeah, fish nachos. So yeah, see what kind of fish I'm catching. You probably already know, though, because of the thumbnail. But yeah, I'll see y'all in a little bit, okay? Enjoy the vlog. Left the big city for the simple country life. See them dolphins, y'all? Found myself a woman that it took for me to be my wife. I was working on the ground, come a sun up to sun time. Hey, I'm trying to make a reputation for a man inside this town. Hard as I Get off my camera, Bert! Jesus Christ. Me one time and she took my heart Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star Oh, Bobber's gone. Wait right now. Wait right now. Let it eat it. Let it eat it. Set the hook. Set the hook. Set the hook. Let's go, baby. Little stud. That little sheeper. Little sheeper, baby. Okay, y'all. So, look, check this out, man. What we gotta do, you gotta let him eat it, man. Like, I'd be so in a hurry to set the damn hook. Got us a little stud here. A little stud muffin. Not a keeper, but she's fat. Not a keeper, but she's fat. So, yeah. What I did with this one, man, every time the bobber goes under, I snatch it. I lose it 95% of the time. This time, I just let the bottle go on. I didn't do nothing. I just wait it and wait it, then set the hook. Maybe that's the key. Let's try it, see if it works. Yeah, the shrimp are way better than last week. So I'm definitely getting bites close to the rocks. So something's over here at least. I'm picking at it though, something small. There we go. Wait, 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 wait for it. There we go. There we go. Fish on, y'all. Got that M effort. Come on. Get off the rocks. What is it? What is it? Fish on, y'all. No, 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 no. Get off the rocks. Ooh, 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 that's a nice sheep head, baby. That's a nice sheep head, baby. Get on the rocks. Get on the boat. Get on the boat, y'all. Get on the boat, y'all. We got a nice sheep head keeper. All right, that's what I'm talking about. All right, y'all, let's get it, man. Check it out. Bam! This is my new PB sheep head, man. 18 inches. Personal best, man about relocating and we got it done man we got it done moved to a new spot only took about 10 minutes to have my second bite and we got it done look at this beast Ooh, that's what i'm talking about baby that's what i'm talking about baby so yeah man we're definitely gonna turn this into something good sheep head is definitely delicious man i can't wait to eat it and see what it tastes like i know what it tastes like it tastes delicious you know what i mean i'm too happy y'all come on let's get it let's get it let's get it yeah yeah all right, y'all, so first things first, let's grab what I need for my nachos as far as my toppings. I like grilled onions, and I like everything in this package. Now, I could cut this myself, but why would you when it's already done for you? Remember, I like making quick, easy, and fast meals for the people who got things to do. And yeah, so on the next one. All right, so next up, let's get some cilantro. It's crazy how this entire thing is only 38 cents. So cilantro. We need some Italian parsley as well. I don't know if parsley actually has taste to it, but it's great for your presentation. 
right on to the next all right so i want like a light sprinkle or have some spanish rice on the side i want it like cilantro lime rice like they have at chipotle but i don't see any so that means i could make it homemade but i don't want to y'all i don't want to make any homemade lime cilantro rice i mean all i have to do is just make some rice got plenty of lime already all right got cilantro you know what y'all i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make it fresh never mind let's go all right so next up y'all we need some rotella simple easy tastes amazing with queso you'll see all right y'all so last but not least we're gonna get some chips all chips look alike but visually never had these before but i like the shape of them so i'm about a visual person i think it will make a great final impression for the money shot on the nachos all right y'all so i got everything i need so let's go check out and head back to the house all right, y'all, so I'm back at home, back in the kitchen, and the game plan today, fish nachos. Never made fish nachos before, so I'm gonna try to keep this recipe as simple as possible, keep it simplistic, nothing fancy, nothing too fancy, just some you know, fish nachos. And the hardest part of this entire process should be trying to flay this you know, sheep head. It's gonna be like the second time I've ever flayed a sheep head before, so bear with me. So let's get this out the way. Let's go. All right, y'all, so here is the star of our show. Here's that sheeper, that beautiful sheeper. Got some scarring on the skin. It was um, digging down in those rocks trying to get away from me, but I prevailed. All right, so once again, second time I've ever filleted a sheep head. They do say it's one of the most difficult fish to clean and fillet. So I'm gonna see if I can remember how I did it last time. I'm gonna start behind the fin right here. Just work our way towards the head. And so. Let's work our way towards that head bone. Some air out. Wash my damn fingers. And come back around the fin towards the stomach area. There we go. Alright. So next up, I'm gonna take our blade, slightly turn it. Just work these scales. Top of the top fin. Just like that, y'all. Just working my way along that top edge of that fin. They got some really thick scales, as you can see. Go back in here. Bear with me, y'all. Again, second time I've ever done this. There we go. All right, not bad, not bad. From there, I'm just gonna open her up here. All right, at that point, I'm just gonna start working our way along the top of the spine. The harder part about this is going above the rib bone. It has a huge rib bone because it built like a tank. Let's go right there for the tail. And I'm just working my way along the spine, entered here. Come off the tail here. There we go. Losing some meat, not gonna lie. Definitely losing some meat. Checking for worms. Oh man, she might have worms, y'all. Hold on, let's see. But we might be able to cut around them bad boys. Get above this rib bone. Couple 
pin bones here. Same about a grip on there. And there we go. Whew. Let's inspect our meat. He looks good. I'm just inspecting for worms. We might have some slight warming parts. We'll see. All right, so next up, we're gonna take our filet, as so. And just grab a little piece here and just work our meat. Work our meat. Now, so I could detect worms, y'all. This worms. Yeah, I don't know, man. This might be a L. Fish nostrils might be a L, y'all. Yeah, worms. Check it out, man. Like every fish has worms, right? And you know, there's this. You know, you can cut them out, but there's like patches, like here, along here. It's like they're everywhere. All throughout the fish. <sighs> Let me check the other one. Same. Worms. Worms. <sighs> Alright, y'all, look. The fish nachos would be continued. Alright, I do apologize that this is an L. I took an L on this one, man, because I know I can cut the worms out, but they're like literally everywhere throughout my my fish and I can't do it. I just can't do it. So next time, next time. Fish not shows to be continued. Give me a thumbs up because I'm feeling kind of down. I'm feeling kind of down because I did not complete this catch clean to cook. I got to the catch. I got to the clean. Unfortunately, I didn't get to the cook. So next time, man. Damn. Damn. It's been real.